hello welcome to my channel today is my first video titled let's talk about it and this is something new something I just thought about yesterday after watching that high school shooting where two teachers and two students died it saddened me very much and the story you know the uncovering of the story is pretty interesting to me to see how the truth comes out thank you God but I wanted to throw in my two cents here if I may okay so while I'm doing that I gotta refill my juice sparkling water love that with ice it's still hot out so I need a little cooling. By the way, before I get into it, you know I make soups on this channel. Today I just had a soup from two days ago. You know, usually second, third day soups are, you know, even tastier. But just to throw this in there, I had some Chinese last night, and the leftover rice blended in well with the soup. I normally do like toasted bread in the soup and it didn't work out that way. I actually had the rice in the soup. Really delicious. Just so you know, if you ever have leftover rice and you have soup, put them together. They like to dance. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so to get back to my, let's talk about it. First video ever. It turns out this kid at 13 had some red flags. And then his father said he didn't have access to guns, etc. Anything he did, like all those threats, which is crazy to me, but I'm not shocked. And I have to say this, it hurts me to say it, but our teenagers today, they are not what we were once in our past. I remember being a kid and just playing outside in front of my building, our building, until Sun went down. Then mom or dad would call me through the window and say, you know, come on in, supper's ready. And, you know, this was after I had done my homework, of course, because they were very strict on that, getting my homework done first. But even in the winter, okay, even winter time, we were there playing with snow. My hands were purple. I didn't feel them. And still I stayed and I played. That is innocent play. Now what the kids are doing today and the way they play, and it saddens me to say it, these games on the computer, on the internet, where you get engaged and you shoot left and right. You shoot, you shoot, you shoot, you kill, you get points, you win a trophy or whatever it is that you get out of that, right? Time wasted. I'm sorry, I'm not mocking this. I'm just, I'm understanding the game. Yes, in my mind, I say, yeah, it'd be fine to shoot something, have some fun, blow some steam. But it doesn't go that far. It goes farther, especially for this kid who is now going to be tried as an adult. So I'm just putting this out there. For all the kids, all the teenagers, please, adults, don't get sucked into those games of violence, bloodshed, and all that. And we expect society to be functioning normal when this is happening and our brain is like numb to the truth and reality. You go into school with a gun and you think you're still in a game or you think it's a game or you're just doing it for the fun of it because you want to be famous or should I say infamous? What the heck, man? We need to get back, you know, back to reset a little bit, you know? This technology is good, but... If it works against us, we need to chop that off. You know, all those people making money, creating these games. Yeah, yeah, whoop, whoop, whoop. Should I applaud you for, for creating violence? Putting the seed of violence into people's heads? Wasting their time? No, thank you. I will not support that. Ever. Ever. And we're surprised. We are really surprised why... This country is losing its grip on reality. Everything is a game. People want to get... God. 
I'm just saying. That's how you can destroy a society, by the way. Start with the young ones. Don't go to the adults. They're already set in their ways. Forget about it. Mm -mm. You're not going to get much change there. But you'll get change in the young minds. That's how you destroy a society. America, be careful. This is the last beacon of hope for the world. We are free here if you choose to be free. Or we can be in debt up to our necks. We can lose our mind. You can get crazy. You can do anything here. This is the land of opportunity. You can live the dream. Work hard, have stuff to enjoy life, be a com you know, have a comfortable life, be happy while you're working. Be happy with your family, spend some time together. I can tell you as I get older, I do realize time with the loved ones is priceless. You can't put a price on that. All the time you can spend together, please do it don't get busy doing something else if you have the opportunity spend time with the ones you love and so to get back to the story i heard today just this morning actually that the father now is going to be tried as well yeah i want to say yeah well, there's some responsibility there to be shared because I heard what was it? Uh, the father gave him a gift, a gun or something, or a rifle, any any kind, some kind of weapon. He got a gift at Christmas, last Christmas. Hmm. Who does that? I mean, okay. I'm sorry, hunters. You give your kids rifles. You teach them how to hunt. Okay, I get it. Oh, I would never do that to my kids. I'm sorry. I would never give a child of mine, my own blood. A rifle and especially before they turn 18 mm, even after 18 your minds are not you know your mind is still cooking still making still whew, growing still observing still learning things about the world if you want to give them a nice gift at Christmas take him out to a nice dinner buy him some clothes Buy him a car. Oh, actually, at 18, you can do that. But uh, I mean, even at 16, I guess, in Georgia. But bottom line is, you don't give a gun, especially after you've been interrogated and your son was in the spotlight. I'm sorry. That's not the gift to give. And I heard also, I don't know if this is true, because I didn't go out. I don't go out to verify anything. I'm just saying, talking about it. We're just talking about it. This is for YouTube talk. But there were supposed to be more than one high school attacks, and obviously just this kid alone acted on it, and the other four didn't. Go figure. This one just decided to overnight get his name out there and be remembered. That's not the way to be remembered. I'm sorry. If you want to be remembered, do something good. If one person remembers you, just one, you've done well. You make a difference in one life. Start with one life. Don't go crazy. Because I tell you, it is not the quantity of people that remember you. It's the, it's the quality of people that remember you. So you don't want to stir up. Because your actions will start other actions. That's how we are. It's like sheep. You watch you watch sheep. My dad was telling me recently that in Romania, like I, some time ago, he witnessed this when he was young. He said he was at the train station trying to, I guess, go to school or what you, university or something. I don't know where he was going somewhere to take the train. Bottom line is, this come, here comes the shepherd and the sheep. Right before the train crosses, one of them decides to jump. Just one. Guess what? After that one, everyone, everyone tried to get across. It was a massacre. 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 Sheep after sheep was jumping into the running train, getting slaughtered, blood everywhere. It just it was gruesome. And that's because one sheep said, mm, I, I think I can make this. Woo. And society is like that too. It's sad to say it. As I get older, I agree. I used to say, no, no, we're better than that, better than that. No, we're not. No, we're not. When it comes to crazy, crazy, 
begets crazy, you know? Evil begets evil. So, no thank you. I, I will not I will not stand for that. So, yes, Father will share some responsibility. But I'm saying this for anyone else who's thought about it or you think you can you want to be famous this way, please don't do it. Please find another way. You know, now a mother, a father, and two siblings are gone from four, four families are mourning right now. They're in pain because someone thought they could just go out there and shoot and be, be, be known about it, become the national news, maybe the world news. I don't know where they are now. And, and now four families are suffering. Is that right? Is that right? This is not about gun control. I will never support taking away the guns from the people. Because it's not the guns that kill, kill people. It's crazy people with guns that kill people. We've heard that plenty of times. Even in movies, I've heard it a couple of times. Look, I personally think that every school should have a metal detecting device at the entry. Search bags and everything else. No students ought to be able to get into that school with a gun. Or any school. Elementary, middle school, high school, colleges. But it costs too much money, right? And someone who's watching us, hmm, I don't want to say, they don't want to spend the money. Because, guess what? If a few die, it's okay. We're already overpopulating this planet, according to their thinking. So we're not going to invest money in safety. They could, if they wanted to. We could be safe, 100%. I don't want to because it costs them money and there's no gain out of it <clears throat> so that's what I have to say about that okay now this tea here <laughs> got a ball I don't know if you can yeah now you can see it this is really cool because I'm doing a chamomile tea. I had something greasy, I don't know, some kind of hash browns this morning and that were full of oil and I guess didn't, didn't realize how full of oil they were until I started having heartburns. So I did chamomile tea one time this morning and I refilled it just now with hot water. I can go for seconds. Same, same cup, same tea. It's really good. It was uh, just chamomile picked off the field, I guess. You can still see the flower in it. Mm. So, um, I think I'll do more of these just to throw in my two cents when I see some kind of news that <clears throat> bothers me. Because we ought to know better as society. So, yeah. You can let me know what you think in comments, be nice. If you're not nice, you will be deleted and muted from this channel. That's one thing I will not accept or tolerate is bad language, cuss words, anything. I can cuss, I choose not to. Not on this platform, you shouldn't either, okay? Because what you say here stays forever. You can erase it, unless I delete it and mute you off. So that's what I'm gonna do. I want to have a clean channel to support a positive influence and bring joy to the world this joy no BS so this is a real deal here you'll be seeing more of me talking like that I hope you're having a great day today is Friday and I hope you have a great weekend and I catch you on the next video God bless take care this is an addendum to my video the very first video let's talk about it to this shooting at the Appalachia High School in Winder, Georgia. Apparently there are nine more people that were affected by this. Nine more people that were injured but expected to survive. So we must remember them and their families as well. So my heart goes out to them. This should have never happened. And like I said, those who lead us they could solve this problem easily. 
every school, every place you go into. It should be a way for people to be checked. You do not walk in public places with weapons. No, I'm sorry. You should not be allowed. You should not be allowed, period. There is no gun control law against that, you know? Just, you should not be allowed to walk into a school, church, government building, anything public. No, you should not walk freely with a weapon on you. You don't need it. And if the building gets secure, nobody really needs it. Nobody. But it'll take some doing, like I said, from the leaders to make sure that is enforced and that happens and money should be invested in the manpower and the equipment to check and check and check. I'm sorry. We could eliminate most of these, if not all of them, or at least deter people from trying to do crazy stuff like this. So I think I've said enough on this video that I hope you are going to have a nice weekend. And bring joy in the world all around you. Start with that, your immediate inner circle. And work your way out. Because I do believe if every one of us would do that within our circle, circle of influence, this world would be a better place. It just takes that doing, you know, that initiative. Start at your level, wherever you are, and do it without thinking. God bless you. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.